In this video we will see the steps if virtualization is not working or you can't see virtualization option in BIOS. Same explanation you will see in Tamil. You will click the link to the show. You will also refer to my channel's playlist to take note tips for more tech related videos. Few days back I posted two videos regarding virtualization enablement and the link for those videos are on the top Kai card and also in that video many have asked a question like how to check whether your system is suitable for virtualization. So I will tell the solution for that in this video. First go to control panel then go to programs and features option. So here in the category view choose large or small icons so that it will be easy to find programs and features option. Now here on the left side you can see the option turn windows features on off. Select that option. Click yes here. And here you can see all the windows features. Here enable and expand Hyper-V option and ensure all sub options of Hyper-V are enabled. Note that for the systems which does not support virtualization this Hyper-V options will not be appearing and that I will show it in the end of this video. Applying this feature will take some time so I am not showing it fully now. So once Hyper-V is enabled system will ask you for restarting and while restarting you can perform the steps of enabling virtualization in BIOS. Since I have already shown these steps in my earlier videos, please check my iCard so that you can find those videos for reference. And after enabling you can also check whether virtualization is active or not in task manager itself. Go to performance tab and here you can see my virtualization is now enabled in my system. And now I will show you my other system where virtualization is not supportable. This is Dell Inspiron 3520. So opening my windows features option. And here you can see there is no Hyper-V option available since this system is not suitable for virtualization. One more method you can check for virtualization is via command prompt. Using this command we check whether virtualization is active or not. So that's it and if you have any doubts regarding this comment below and if you think the video is useful to you please like the video and subscribe to my channel today's encyclo. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe for more updates. Thank you.